Hello, 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 hello. My name is Parthen Singer. You're watching My Nappy Roots. And if you got a little time, you might as well stick around. Welcome back to My Nappy Roots, everyone. Today in this video, what I want to discuss, as the title above says, hair grows on its own. How many times has a new product come out claiming that it can grow hair faster than if you didn't use that product? How many times have we wasted our money on a product that we've used religiously for a whole month or longer and we still have the same half an inch of new growth every time? That is because hair grows slowly and that is okay. A lot of the time what we want, we want our roots of our hair to grow faster than the damage we're doing to the ends of our hair. We are damaging our hair and we want it to grow faster to counteract and counterbalance the damage that we've done to our scalp perfectly and we do everything under the sun to destroy it. We over process it, we color it, we bleach it, we dye it a million colors, we flower it every day, we relax it bone straight every Great month. Style that are breaking our hairline off. When I was 18 and 19 years old I used to get my hair braided every single week. And I had to stop because I noticed that my hairline in the front was breaking off. Now that was about five years ago and my hairline, if you can see this, it is still not completely full. My hairline is still very thin in the front and it was a lot, a lot worse than what it is now. or growing hair at all out of our scalp is not a problem for 99% of people. People who suffer from um, different forms of pattern baldness or different forms of alopecia, those are the people, the 1% of the population that has an issue with growing hair from the scalp. 99% of people do not have that issue. And I know this for a fact because we always want to color our roots, we always want to relax our roots, we always want to do something, something, something to straighten the roots. The roots are growing. Ignore, ignore the naysayers, ignore the people who say what well, you can't do because, because you're black, what you can't do because of this, what you can't do because you have nappy hair, what you can't do because you have coarse hair. It's all lies. Your hair can grow. Just think of the hair on your arms when you shave or you use a hair removal cream on your arms. That hair grows back and it grows long if you don't cut it. The hair on your legs, when you shave that or you use a hair removal cream to get rid of that, it grows back and it grows back long if you don't break it if you don't cut it that is the problem stop breaking your hair only thing on this earth that can make your hair grow you already possess it if you are sitting here watching this video if you are alive and your heart is pumping you already possess what it takes to grow hair and that is blood flow to the scalp that is the only thing that makes hair grow the only thing that makes hair grow blood flow to the scalp there is no part of your body that is not nourished by blood. Your fingernails, if you look at them and you press down on them, the blood leaves and you release and the blood comes back. It's the same thing with your hair. Your toenails are nourished by blood. The, the hair follicles on your scalp are nourished by blood. That is the only thing that can grow hair. Hair is a byproduct of overall health. If you have beautiful, healthy hair, it's because your body is beautiful and healthy on the inside. Hair comes from the inside, not from the outside. Nothing that you can put on your hair externally on the outside will make it grow. There's a lot of products out there that will make your hair shiny because the product itself is shiny. There's a lot of products out there that will make your hair feel soft because the product is soft. 
We have to be aware. Become conscious of this. You have to become conscious of your hair. Become conscious. Healthy hair is a result, is a byproduct of having a healthy body. You cannot have a healthy, you cannot have a healthy head of hair without having a healthy body. And you cannot have a healthy body without having a healthy mind. And you cannot have a healthy mind without having a healthy spirit. One of the things that product companies never tell you or never let you know is that diet plays a huge, huge part in hair. If you have healthy hair, it's because you have a healthy body. Start taking care of your body and your hair will reap the benefits of that. Your diet is very important. Be mindful. Are you taking in enough nutrients? Are you getting enough protein? Believe me, if you are not taking in enough protein, your hair will let you know. Your hair will begin to shed excessively. That's extremely important because hair is made of protein. Your nails are made of protein. Your skin is made of protein. Protein is extremely important. Nutrients. And I don't mean those hair, skin, and nail vitamins because a lot of the time our bodies does not recognize synthetic nutrients or synthetic vitamins so when you go to the bathroom and you look at your urine it's neon green and bright neon yellow guess what that's all your vitamins that's all the money you spend on the nutrients into your body and the food that you eat Also, exercise. Exercise is also a huge part of overall health, not just the health of the hair, but overall health. If you exercise 30 minutes of cardio a day, three days a week, it's wonderful. You will immediately feel a lot better because when you get that heart rate going and that blood is pumping, there's blood being pumped to every part of the body. Every part of the body is being cleansed and nourished and especially the hair. The hair is the least important thing to the body. The organs are the number one most important thing to the body. So the body will take care of that and enough nutrients to keep the brain alive, the heart pumping, the lungs taking in oxygen. You want to make sure that you're taking care of the most vital organs first because the body will take care of those organs first before it does anything to hair, anything to nails, anything to anything else that is for a vanity purpose. Exercise is extremely important because if you want to grow hair at, a, at an optimum rate, if you want to grow hair at an optimum rate, exercise is extremely important. When your blood is pumping, it's going to your scalp, it's going to your nails, it's going to every part of the body, and it's cleansing out the toxins. It's getting out all of the free radicals, all of the dirt, all of the garbage that we put into our body by eating a bunch of crappy foods. We have to cut that down if we want to have health number one for the body and number two for healthy hair having healthy hair is a byproduct of having a healthy body the human body is made up of about 70 percent water that is extremely important are you drinking enough water you want to make sure that you're drinking enough water because the entire body will thrive on water the more water you put into your body, the better because you're cleansing away all of the toxins and the free radicals and all of the garbage. A few weeks ago, I was suffering from a very itchy scalp and I never, never have an itchy scalp and I could not figure out what was going on. At first, I thought, okay, just leave it alone, leave it alone, it'll go away on its own. No, it actually got worse. So I got, on, I got on the internet and I googled dry itchy scalp and in the midst of a billion and one products that popped up anti itch this, dry scalp that, moisture repair this, I found dehydration. A lot of scalp issues, a lot of shedding hair, a lot of breakage issues is because we are not drinking enough water. And that is exactly what my issue was. I was not drinking enough water. I had been drinking Pepsi by the gallon and my hair and my body was definitely suffering from dehydration.
make sure that you're drinking enough water your hair will thank you your skin will thank you your body will thank you to have patience with our hair hair grows slowly and that's okay hair grows normally for most people at about one half an inch a month for some people their hair grows a quarter inch a month for some people their hair grows three quarters of an inch a month but for the average person their hair grows half an inch a month a slow steady rate of half an inch per month and that has to be Stop. okay damaging your hair and you will keep the hair on your head and you won't have to grow at two three four inches a month because if your hair grew that if it could grow faster you would still find a way to rip it out to flat on it out to dry it out to burn it out to relax it out you still find a way to ruin it stop ruining it pull it back pull it back pull back on the relaxers pull back on the heat pull back on the blow dryers, the flat irons, the curling irons, the combing, pull back, relax, let it be. When you detangle your hair, do it slowly. Do it when you have enough time to do it so that you aren't in a rush and you aren't ripping your hair out and you're not raking through your hair, your hair with a small rat tail comb through your entire head. That is the worst thing you can do for your hair. Don't do that. Have patience with your hair. Your hair will grow at the rate that it grows for the rest of your life. There is nothing you can do to make it speed up. So have patience and accept the fact that hair will grow slowly. Another thing that I want to touch on as well is that hair is fragile. If you take a piece of your shed hair and you pull it, it will break fairly easily. And if you have relaxed hair, bone straight relaxed hair, it will break even more easily because you've taken all of the natural structure out of your hair. For your hair to lay bone straight, it's because you've broken down everything in your hair. Every bond in your hair has been broken. And it's just holding on by the thin keratin bond on the surface of the hair. What you want to make sure that you do is protect your hair as much as possible. Go to bed at night, you should be wearing a satin cap. I got this from Kmart for $2. And it's it's very helpful okay, so it's not drying out all the moisture in your hair you want to use a satin scarf a satin cap like I just showed you you want to do a satin pillowcase things will help prevent your hair from becoming dry African American hair is very dry our hair gets very very dry very very quickly we want to be we want to retain as much of the moisture in our hair as we possibly can the more moisture you retain in your hair the more length you retain are meant to style our hair they are meant to help us mold our hair into a shape and keep it in that shape it was meant to cleanse our hair it's meant to clean our hair there is no shampoo that can volumize there is no shampoo that can straighten there is no shampoo that will enhance your curl pattern there is no shampoo that will do any of that all shampoo can do is cleanse all conditioner can do is either moisturize or provide protein that's all they're meant to do stop believing that a product will grow your hair because it's not your hair is already going to grow on its own hair grows on its own stop damaging it anytime you have an issue with your hair it's normally because you've done something to it it's not anything that you have to do to stop that issue is something that you need to stop doing to stop that issue just like my story when my scalp was itching it was itching because I was dehydrated it wasn't itching because I needed to put a product on it it was itching because I wasn't eating enough water so thanks for watching this video on my nappy roots there is much much more on the way so stay tuned bye